Hello Star Wars fans, today I'm doing a Star Wars Relatable Review, so today I'm doing the Star Wars The Elite Series First Order Stormtrooper Diecast Figure. Before we look at the figure, let's look at the packaging for here. It says DC Store Exclusive, ages 3 and up. I mean 3 plus, and it says Star Wars Elite Series, First Door Stormtrooper, die cast action figure. On the side, it says die cast action figure. On the other side, same thing, but from the new film Star Wars The Force Awakens. On the back here, there's a reel about the Elite Series. You want to go ahead, pause it. And there's another read up about the first order stormtrooper. If you want to read it, go ahead, pause that too. Yeah, and that's about the packaging. Now let's look at the um, figure itself. Okay, so look at the details on him here. Well, details on him looks really good. Yeah, it looks really great. Yeah, I really do like details on him. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, no paint jobs. And there's some like some of the screw holes on the back. You have the arms, the back, and his butt and his legs. I mean that really stinks. Stinks. Yeah. Yeah, there's some mess there's some messy paint on here. And the other side of the helmet looks okay. Yeah, yeah, it's really good looking. But your or the articulation well the articulation is okay. His head's fully rotated, hinge on the ball joint. Arms go fully rotate, go in and out. Bend at the elbow. No rotation on the wrist, on the elbow. Wrist can rotate. No, oh, wait, waist can rotate. Legs go forward and back, in and out. No upper leg movement. Bend at the knee, and his foot rotates, go forward, left and right, and up and down. Yeah, that's about the articulation. Yeah, for accessory, he came with this blaster. I mean, I really wish wish that he has a rotation on his elbow so I can, like, you know, pose him like, like, carry his gun with two hands. I but he cannot do that. He also came with a small blaster. It fits on his hand and also fits on his holster. And also, he came with a Star Wars stand. Which is the same thing as as Kylo Ren. It fits perfectly well, but yeah, I wish this figure gave him like great looking pose. Okay, so here's a side by side comparison. So he is a he is shorter than the DC collectibles, well, Batman Arkham Knight Battle Damage Batman, and you can see he is a a almost the same size as the Marvel Legends series. Uh, Marvel Legends series, Ironmonger Wave, um, Mark Forty Two, Iron Man, and he's a he's almost the same size as the Diamond Select Gotham Oswald Cobblepot, A.K.A. the Penguin. Okay, so yeah, that's about it. Well. Well, it's, it's an okay figure. I mean, I wish he has a lot more articulated. Like, give him the elbow movement. Meant, give him the angle. Go pivot. Give him the... Everything that has a lot of articulation. I mean, yeah, give him everything. So I could pose this figure. I mean, I made this pose, which is... I don't know. I mean, yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, I really do like this figure. But I really wish he... Has like a lot of articulation on him. I mean, but it's still a good looking figure. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for new videos. It was every Thursdays and Saturdays. So, yeah, this is JAR369. Have a good day and goodbye.